and well, I'm here in Mongolia. Um, I arrived yesterday. I, I travel around the world meeting people and learning how to cook traditional foods. And that's what happened today here. But I seem to always be surprised about humanity. I'm here with B and his wife. And uh, they cooked a wonderful meal in a uh, tent-like Mongolian uh, dwelling called a Ger, G-E-R, G -E -R, a very humble, very uh, full of love and um, harmony. So you would think that maybe it was a home of a, of a camel herder or a sheep herder or a horse herder because those are the kind of folks that I've met in the past across the world that live in situations like this but to my surprise this man sitting next to me has a doctorate degree and taught at the university He's traveled around the world himself and uh, has chosen to live like this. Why has he chosen to live like this? He can only answer for you, but I can tell you what I believe I have learned from a short period of time that I've been here. And that is that he has found the true meaning of existence and uh, his beliefs of how humans should be, offering their homes, giving love, giving advice, speaking proudly about his heritage and all those things are very touching and very true and I think he's going to live a very happy and fulfilled life unlike many people in the world who are seeking material gains to try to fill a void that uh, maybe they don't know what they need to fill and with what and from what he has shared with me today he is fulfilled knowing that he's raised three children who are all well-balanced, good people that respect wow, humanity and respect nature. Wow. So I am proud to be here and to call be my new friend. Wow, thank you very much. Yes. Wow. Cheers. It was very big regard to us and to our Mongolians. And uh, can I ask you, please introduce yourself, please. My name is Avelino Cortina III. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are very international, but I want to ask your country or... I'd rather not talk about me. I wow. want to talk about wow. you. <laughs> wow, thank you. And second question, please. Why you are in Mongolia? How you decide to travel in these days in Mongolia? I came here looking for you. Wow! <laughs> and... Uh, Wow. And I found you. Wow, thank you. And wow. I thank you. Wow. And do you know you can find another bee in South Korea? And you there, can find There are like... many bees. Yes. Around the world, but Exactly, yes. You are unique. Wow. Yes, you I'm Mongolian. You yes. don't spread flower powder. You spread knowledge and wisdom and that comes with living. And you've lived a good life and now you're sharing it with people through this program that you have and I think it's a really fantastic thing that you're doing. But also, let's not forget your wonderful wife. Exactly. She's very, exactly, yes. very funny. She's sweet. She's very intelligent. And she's beautiful. Yes. What's her name? Short name is Soy. Soy. Yeah. It is very nutritious uh, bean. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, food name is Mungin Soyum. Okay. My wife's name already in our national flag. In our national flag, there is a yellow symbol. That is my wife's name, Soyum. Soyum. Yes. Okay. And thank you. Thank you. My and, pleasure. Uh, I really need to ask my third question, please. Okay. It's final. <laughs> and what do you want to ask from our Mongolians? Or what do you want to say to our Mongolians? Yes. Same. I read a lot. Whenever I visit a new country, I read a lot about the history and... Uh, how the country came about to be what it is. 
but many times when I arrive, I realize that the books can really explain well what the country is made up of. Mm -hmm. And the only way to really find out what the country is made up of is not going to the best restaurants and the best hotels and the jazz clubs like I'm going to tonight, but going to meet the real people. Locals. And uh, these individuals are the ones that really represent the country. And I'm very happy to have experience what I've experienced here because I will take it with me for the rest of my life. So thank you, B. Wow. Thank you very much. Have a good trip around the world in, in Mongolia. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you. And <laughs> hugging is Mongolian also. I love hugging. Yes, yes. thank you. Thank you. It is our culture. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, best wishes to you and to our world people. Thank you. Yes. And uh, we are waiting you in Mongolia. Thank you Again. so much. Welcome thank back. You. I will come back, I hope. A lot of world women. Yes. We should be ready for that. <laughs> Thank you. I should keep my health. Ah. I should keep my tradition. Yes. That is my responsibility. Yes. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you.